this one dude on TikTok who gets on my last nerves. I mean, he be pandering so bad. He just say anything for likes and follows. And these chicks be on here just eating it up. He made one video talking about how if a man want to take you on a date, tell him to cash up you $200 before the date to show that he really serious. What? Or be telling girls to dudes need to be paying their bills. Dudes need to be paying their rent. Dudes need to be doing all of this stuff in the talking stage. Like, if there's men out there that's doing that, that's fine. But don't be pushing a narrative that if a man ain't doing that, then there's something wrong. Because you're putting the wrong idea in women's heads. Because nothing about that is normal. There are dudes out here who like to do stuff like that. And what we like to call those dudes are tricks. <laughs> There's a difference between a man being a provider and a man being a trick. If that man does not live in that woman's household, it is not his responsibility to be paying her bills. If he want to, that's fine, but that is not what makes him a provider. That makes him a trick. <laughs> it's funny cuz it's true. I mean, let's be honest. There's always going to be a market for men who want to pander to women because there's always going to be women who you can easily buy simply by telling them what they want to hear. And that's the exact thing I always look to make the big difference when I speak to you guys. It's not just about me telling you everything you want to hear or us always just shining a light on what women do. Because all of the conversations we have, all the topics we discuss, all hinge on the fact that men are being men. Men are living up to the responsibilities and the principles that they are supposed to do and that they are supposed to have in order to be the leaders that they are meant to be. If we don't at least understand or recognize that much, we're pretty much hustling backwards. So fellas, continue working on yourself. Continue pursuing your goals. Continue developing the characteristics and the traits that's gonna make you into that high quality, high caliber man that you envision for yourself to be. That way, ultimately, you can call the shots and live life on your terms. Let's roll the next clip. In separate or together? Uh, together, I'm gonna pay for it. I know, that's right. Ladies, I wanna believe that he's lying, but just in case, just in case, smile thank you the whole is giving i know that's right as he should it is tacky it is not cute gratitude will always be in style i mean women marry a lifestyle i mean because i mean who's the first one gone when he loses his job her that's Please. like one of the number one indicators that you're going to get divorced is if he loses his job so that's why they say like women can't love in the same way that like men can love because once you lose what you have like a lot of times women leave. This is Hello. Hey there is available. Yeah, this is she. This is Alec with Instagram. How are you today? I'm good. I don't know why I'm being called regarding this. I spoke with James earlier today. Me and James have been in contact. He just couldn't break the news to you, so he wanted me to give you a call. Instagram actually came out with some new policies this year for 2023. One of the things that we're taking a look at is taking away verifications, the blue check mark, for accounts that we feel are not meeting our expectations. Um, so, on... no, you guys are not going to take away my verification. Fortunately, you ended up on the list. So we have a lot of up and coming Instagram models and we feel that your pictures are just not meeting the expectations to have a blue check mark what anymore. The? I'm not meeting expectations? No, nope, you're not. What do you mean? You're still gonna have the account. We're just taking away the blue check mark and we're gonna be giving it to another, you know, Instagram model. Yeah. Yeah, Alec with what Instagram. What is your name? I'm not meeting expectations. I work so hard for my account. I'm way better than all the other girls. Are you kidding me? What the? Literally, I I'm so confused. There's no way this is even real. I'm calling my manager right now. Yeah. You. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna have to objectively disagree that she worked hard for her Instagram. No offense, but I don't think you can classify being an IG model as hard work. And let's be honest, if we really pull back the veil of this false reality that many of these models are portraying, many times you see these IG models using their pages to try to bait men who are living a certain type of lifestyle and a certain caliber of man, 
try to bait them into getting into their DMs because they're presenting themselves in a certain type of way. Or it's just a backdoor way to get you to their OF page. Because please believe, for every two to three women who somehow crack the code and actually end up making some actually decent money off of being an Instagram model, there's still thousands of countless women out there struggle posting every day, just trying to make it, but not getting far. Roll the next clip. Why would anybody want to deal with you? How about that? Let's see. I'm intelligent. I'm motivated. I have my own business. I maintain my own lifestyle. I'm not understanding the full scope of your question. Well, see, that's the problem now, ain't it? You just described yourself as a man. See, you got to understand what the men want. And none, nothing you said in there was anywhere close to being feminine, beautiful, inspirational, caring, loving. The way you're talking it almost sounds like a dude. I love when guys say they can't be in a relationship because they're so busy with work. Coming from a man's perspective, most men in today's time are not going to choose to put time into a relationship over accomplishing their goals for the fact of they've seen what happens when you focus too much on women. We're not saying you don't deserve the relationship that you want, but that man cannot give you the type of relationship that you want and be okay with himself as a man, if he does not accomplish the goals he has set for himself. So I'm almost 24 and my boyfriend and I, he's my first boyfriend. We've been dating for almost two years and we've never kissed. And for y'all call me weird and all that nonsense because I get that all the time. Um, we're Christian. So we are saving ourselves for marriage. So we have boundaries. And for me, I never want to kiss anybody unless it was my husband because I feel like that's a special thing. Well, I just think it's really cool that like we don't rely on anything physical to like keep our relationship going. Like, you know, I think that's neat. Um, I don't give a frick what any of you guys said because I get hate all the time about it. But the only person I'm pleasing is God, okay? And our marriage will be blessed. Let me just say that. This is probably gonna be the first and only time y'all see me cry on this app, but I just woke up and my best friend of almost literally the last decade has unfollowed me on everything. And he started doing it app by app over the course of the last week. Mind you, we spoke last week like I wasn't noticing. And even though you unfollowed me on this app, I hope this message still finds you because I just want to know how you can so easily dispose of someone in something that you're supposed to care about. Someone who you know cares about you. I've had your back through everything. And vice versa, you've had mine. I don't care if you got a little girlfriend that don't approve of our friendship. I don't care about none of that. It was too easy for you to dispose of me. It hurts a lot. I never would have expected you to fold this way, and especially without explanation. What I will say, though, is it's no love lost. And I hope this still finds you. I wish you the best. So hold on. Let's rewind this whole thing so we can understand it. So she said she noticed he was beginning to unfollow her across all her social media platforms and they actually spoke, but you never brought that up. You never had a conversation about that. You never brought that to his attention or anything. But guys, like I always say, if you let a woman speak and you just listen, she will tell you everything you need to know because she said something very important. She said, I don't care if you have a little girlfriend and we all know when women put little in front of something that pertains to a man in many cases is done to minimize what that man is doing and what he's about. That is just code language used to shame, guilt, and insult men. And listen, we don't know why he stopped talking to her, but I'm sure if we had an opportunity to hear his side of the story, the accounts of how things went down would be very different. Roll the next clip. Making my husband's lunch for his 14 hour shift part two. Overnight oats. Taco salad.
B-L-T. Hey, a shout out to a bunch of you guys who commented on one of my previous videos where I finished it off with a positive note. So I just wanted to leave you with that clip right there, finishing off with a positive note. Anyway, guys, questions, comments, and feedback, leave them down below. As always, love to hear what you guys think. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button to continue enjoying more content. And you already know, until next time.